Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Medicine by James. Today in our series of second year of physiology practical, we have to learn about the cellular function examination. In this examination, we have seven tests. First, we will start with the finger nose test. As you all know, before starting any procedure, we have to take the consent from the subject. So, we will, ex we will take consent and then explain the procedure to the subject. We will ask the subject to touch his nose with his index finger and then touch the finger to the outstretched hand of the examiner and then ask the subject to repeat this procedure again and again. First the procedure will be performed with the eyes of the subject open and then the procedure will be performed with the eyes of the subject closed. A normal subject will perform this test easily but in uh, patients, we will see two abnormalities. First one will be the intention tremors. What are intention tremors? These are the tremors which are produced when the finger is near its target. And the other one is the pause pointing, in which the finger will overshoot the target and will not touch the target. In the examination, our next test is the rapidly alternating movements test. We will explain the procedure to the subject. We will ask the subject to rapidly pronate and supinate one hand on the dorsum of the other hand. A normal subject will be able to rapidly perform these movements, but in a patient of cerebellar disease, these movements will be slow and clumsy. This uh, uh, phenomenon is called as dysphagia docokinesia, and it is also seen in the extra pyramidal disorders such as Parkinson disease, and it is also seen in the pyramidal disorder such as internal capsule ischemia. In our examination, our third test is the rebound phenomenon test. We will explain the procedure to the subject. We will ask the subject to rapidly raise his arm from the side and then stop suddenly. A normal subject will be able to uh, stop his arms, but in a patient of cerebellar disease, there will be a delay in stopping the arm. There is an alternative method to this procedure. We provide the distance to the forearm of the subject and ask him to uh, flex his forearm. And when we release the resistance, a normal subject will be able to stop his forearm. But in a patient of cerebellar disease, the arm may overshoot and may hit his or her face. Next in our examination, we have the heel chin test, in which we ask the subject to move the heel of one foot on the shin of the other leg and then move it up and down and maintain the accuracy. Next in our examination we have the toe finger test in which we ask the subject to flex his knee and then touch the finger of the examiner with his big toe. Next in our examination we have the foot tapping test in which we ask the subject to rapidly tap his foot on the hand of the examiner. To check the sensory ataxia, we have a Romberg test. We ask the subject to stand straight with his feet close together and his eyes closed. If the patient or subject lurches away, then he may have sensory ataxia. Next in the examination, we have to check the stance. We will ask the subject to stand straight with his feet close together and his eyes open. If the subject lurches away, he may have cerebellar ataxia. To check the sensory ataxia, we have a Romberg's test. We again ask the subject to stand straight with his feet close together and his eyes closed. If the subject now lurches, he may have sensory ataxia. In the last, we will have to check the gait. For gait checking, we ask the subject to walk a 10 meter straight and then turn 180 degree and come backward. During this walking, we check uh, check his stride length, his arm swinging, and the steadiness while making the turn. Last, we have to check the tandem gait, in which we ask the subject to walk heel to toe in a straight line. This is the tandem gait, and it shows any gait instability. So, this was all about the cerebellar function examination. In the next video, we will continue with the other practical. Now, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this video with your friends, and thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz.